Sadhguru Jammu and Kashmir need your presence so that people can focus on something different from the regional issues. Do you have any plans to set foot here? Well, I have no issues with Jammu and Kashmir. People have been inviting me to come and golf in the Srinagar golf course. <laughs> Some of the army officers said, Sadhguru, you come, we will provide you all the security. And I said, no, I don't want to come where twenty-five people have to walk around trying to take care of my security, I don't want to do that to you. When everything is fine, I will come. Right now you go there, a whole lot of people are going there because they are interested in a photo op. The situation in Kashmir is not at ripe to do spiritual work. Online we can provide. To go there and to actually do spiritual kind of activity, it's just a photo op, it's not a real thing. Because it is in a certain state of boil, it needs to cool down. In this state of boil, if you go there, you will only instigate certain forces to further go crazy about it. They will become even more insecure and probably get more violent and take that violence out. Maybe I'll be well protected, but they will take it out on somebody else. Those who attended the satsang, they may get killed. <laughs> yes, they will probably. So I don't want to ca cause such disruptions. About... it'll be crazy to enter that situation now. It will be just trying to take advantage of something that's happening there, which I will never do. We will not go to Jammu and Kashmir unless we anonymously motorcycle, we may do. But will we go there to conduct mega events? No, I will not do that. They can always access our material free of cost uh, online. And if you happen to be a militant or a terrorist or in some way extreme, we offer inner engineering online free of cost for you. <laughs> Tools for transformation. <clears throat> because... Because I want you to understand, there are various aspects to it, I'm not trying to make fun of it. Everybody believes what they believe and they think they're doing the right thing. You always think the other person is crazy. This happened. Two white uniformed guards came to a local farm in Tennessee and asked the farmer, see, uh, a total lunatic has escaped from an institution, we are looking out for him. Did you happen to see him? The farmer asked, what does he look like? They said he's uh, very short and thin and he weighs uh, 295 pounds. The farmer said, what? He's short and thin and weighs 295 pounds? Have we told you he's crazy? So, you never know who is crazy, all right? So, this is not taking a call on somebody is wrong, we are right, that's not about it. Right now, the important thing is to function and to work where you can produce maximum impact because life is a brief amount of time and energy. It's a limited amount of time and energy. Every human being should understand this. You must always work in a space where you can create maximum impact. Or you're choosing an easy place to work, no. Where there is maximum impact. Maximum impact can be measured in so many different ways, but definitely not in terms of whether it's easy or difficult to work there. That's not the point. Can you produce some impact or is it just waste of time and energy? That is a call that everybody has to take. I have taken that call 
I will not go into war zones and th these kind of situations, famines, where people go and give some fruits, bananas, oranges and take pictures and put it in the newspaper. I will not do such things, it's too obscene for me. I will never do such things where there is war, where there is death. We will come and say, I'm going to, speak to you, teach spirituality to you. It doesn't work like that. I need people who have a few things settled in their life and willing to focus on something more profound or a higher dimension, only then I can work with them. Otherwise, it's a spiritual photo op, I don't need. Hmm? I look spiritual enough, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you